everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. As always, it's me, Mythic. Today, we are going to be playing Legolas Elves, or Golgari Elves, as the case may be. I actually called it Demir Elves, but I kind of slaved myself in the editing for that one. Anyway, it's a really cool deck. It's loads of fun. You can do crazy things, make tons of elves. It's absolutely wicked, and I really enjoy playing it. If you go on to give this deck a try, you can find the deck list over on my Ethan Hub profile. Uh, literally just go and search for Mythic Channel over there. Um, as always, don't forget to like the video if you like it, dislike it, I suppose, if you dislike it, and make sure you bang a comment if you get to do, and subscribe because it's free. Um, apart from that, we're going to get straight into the video. Go. The deck is Demir Legolas. <sighs> it's elves. In standard, loving life. Okay, so elves in standard. Um, this deck's been tweaked over probably uh, the last couple of days. Um, yeah, I really like it, and it actually motivates me to want to play standard. But this is mad. So I've actually like this is how much I like it. I've already started pimping it um, because you know reasons um so yeah um i can't wait for the harold king of skemfar um to be released because the alternate art for this is absolutely shamay's balls um but i haven't released it yet which is a shame but they will do um it says it's for an event so i should imagine it'll be a store promotion or something um but we'll be able to get it so basically long and short of it is um it's all pretty much elves which is nice so wildwood tracker i have found to be an absolute awesome card it's a 1-1 one, one that 90 percent of the time is a 2-2 two, two when attacking and blocking it's a really great card awesome value elvish warm war master says everything that you need to say play an elf get a 1-1 one, one. so it just builds you an army so quick it's unreal um two brilliant uh Tajuru Pag uh, Paragon with a three power um, for two. It's really good. Acts as a meaty blocker. Acts as a meaty attacker. And with the kicker cost as well, you can go find stuff that you need. Uh, Wildborn Wild Preserver with Reach is brilliant. It really helps you out against things like rogues. The fact that you can make it huge because of all the triggers of Elvish Warmaster is amazing. Again, an all-star. Uh, Lanoir Visionary, the card draw you get off it, plus the ramp. Plus, Elf again is amazing. Um, Harold is definitely a four of. I mean, lots of legendary creatures aren't four ofs in decks. This definitely is. You get card draw, you get manipulation. The fact that it's Menace, the fact that it's a 3 2, um, it's a great card. Um, Canopy Tactician, you, um, when you actually get this on the battlefield um, and everything does get plus one, plus one, um, it's brilliant. But a lot of the time, you don't need it. You're usually so. You know, your army's so big anyway, you can usually run people over or outblock people. Um, so you don't need loads. Um, and at the point where it comes down later in the game, it's just that deciding blow that just absolutely destroys everyone at the end. Uh, Tyvar Kel, um, brilliant. Um, I preferred this art than the full art. I like this. I think this is brilliant. The more sort of, uh, I don't know, sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, cartoony, anime sort of art. Really liked it. But it's great, the fact that it ramps you by tapping for black, the fact that you can put plus one, plus one counters on things to make them bigger, you can create elves. The emblem is dumb. When I've got the emblem to go off, it's stupid. Um, Binding of the Old Gods, amazing card. The fact that you can just destroy anything is brilliant. The ramp is great. The last one, the last um, ability doesn't actually matter that much most of the time. It's the first two that I'm interested in. Harold Unites the Elves is Again, stupid. Pay for, search for your planeswalker and or elves to create more elves. Put them on the battlefield. The plus one, plus one on each elf makes your army huge. And then the ability to give things minus, minus one um, when you attack is amazing. It gets around indestructible things. Um, it is awesome. Um, absolutely love it. It's brilliant. And then pretty standard mana base, seven swamps, 11 forests. Some Dartboard Pathways, Slitherboard Pathways, and a couple of Temple of Malady, just to smooth out a few things when we need it. In Standard, in Ranked, let's see how we can do. Um, I am... I'm actually genuinely excited to play Standard for once. 
Um, so we will keep score. And uh, we'll see how we get on. But, um, yeah. See how we get on. Uh, we'll reset that to O and O. And we'll get ready. We go first. Okay, so we've got our one drop. We've got our two drop. We've got our three drop. We've got a kill spell. We get more stuff. We've got mana. We're good. We are all gravy baby. See what we get. Who are we playing against, do we think? Another green deck. If it's just Love Struck Beast, we're going to totally go around it. Just need to hit those land drops now. Really important. Uh, what was my thought building the deck? like? Uh, mainly because it's obviously elves back in the day was an amazing deck it's obviously potentially still you know it's still an amazing deck in modern um or can be um so the fact that it feels like i can play um modern um strategies uh in in sort of standard magic is frankly epic um yeah it's really nice it's really nice to have that ability a double block interesting okay interesting i wasn't expecting a double block there but yeah that that was the inspiration the inspiration oh no oh old noel troll Uh, we will get another, we'll get the Tudging Paragon. And no attacks at the moment. This is when Elgrace Trove dies, if a creature, if it was a creature returned to the battlefield as an aura enchant with enchant forest, it has tap add two. You can one tap sack the land to make it a four four. Yeah, fine. No blocks, I'm good. Um, I think I get Harold on the go here. Get a bit of Harold on the go. Come on, Harry. Hit me something good. Eee! Hit me a Tyvar Kel. Oop. Uh, it's going to kill it because it's now got Death Touch. <clears throat> Questing bitch, do we reckon? I list my control deck on Discord if someone wants to test it. Let me know. Yeah, cool. What a surprise. Fucking Vorinclex out of nowhere. Okay. We'll just bind him. Oh, we don't get any counters, do we? Of course not. It hoses that entirely. Okay. Yeah, that's game over. That's game over. Wow. Okay. So I've got to be aware of that then. Vorian clicks get hosed. Yeah, I didn't think about the um, uh, the Vorian clicks and the sagas at all. That literally just went totally over me there. I was like, oh, okay, shit, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy to go with this. We'll play Black Mana first because it just gives them less of a clue as to what we're doing. So I'll always play Black Mana first because it tells people less information.
Okay. So. You might be able to run a. Gets rid of that. Okay, okay. Let's get a Lanoir Visionary down. I feel like this is going to be um, this is going to be some sort of a um, Scoot Swarm deck, I reckon, with the Marassa Root Grazer. Maybe some sort of a um, a ramping. Crawling Barons, okay. They're ramping pretty sharpish. Five Arkel. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, we'll. Play this using these two. And then we'll create another elf as well with Tyvar. And that. Make another elf with Tyvar. They're not liking this, are they? They're having a good old think about it. So, worst case scenario. I return a land with Marassa Root Grazer, make two extra mana. What it should do is tap the forest, return the forest, play the forest. That's one, one. Oh, they've done it wrong. This player is not very good because they should have tapped the forest, then returned it. Now they're only getting two mana. They could have had three. Belladar Retreat. Yeah, this is going to be some sort of squ Scoot Swarm deck. Okay. Um, so, we will play Green Manor. Play a bit of Harold. Recruit some Elves. Excellent. We'll have a... Have that. Uh, we will indeed take that action. We'll put a plus one counter on it. Uh, we'll get an Elvish War Master. We'll play you. Uh, we'll decline to take that action. Then we'll create an elf. Uh, and then we'll get an elf. Uh, and then we will. Bring with you. Right, okay. So, how are you all doing, chat, anyway? Hopefully you're all doing super well. Make sure if you're not following the channel, make sure you take two seconds to follow. It's absolutely free. It's really easy to do, and I would very much appreciate it. It goes a long way to help supporting the content that I make. And, uh, yeah, appreciate it. Okay, so. Now I've got to outpace these guys pretty quick. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So we can create seven mana. So we can give everything Death Touch with Elvish Warmaster. If we leave a Visionary and a single Elf back. So if we leave a Visionary and a single Elf back, um, we can essentially attack with everything with Death Touch and they might miss it. Which will be, frankly, hilarious. Let's see how it goes. Charm. Creatures, uh, so it's, what is it saying to do with players can't pay life or sacrifice permanence to cast spells. Fine.
If they buff everything, they're dead. You're gonna die. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five. I think we kill them. Uh, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Dead. Cool. There we go. Out of nowhere. Gotta love it. Or Harold gives you card draw the showed out at the uh, the saga gives you card draw there's tons of card draw in the deck absolutely tons um yeah fine keep okay gruel yeah so this has got card draw on it this has got card draw on it this has got card draw on it it's like all gravy baby I refuse to play against this deck. I, I want, I, 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 I adamantly want um, Tybalt's Trickery to be banned. And I'm not, I'm not even counting the, these as games. No, fuck it. I'm not even counting them as games. No. Nah. Not counting them as games. I refuse. I refuse to play against that card. It needs to be banned as soon as possible. Tybalt's Trickery needs to be banned. If if Uro was too powerful for standard and all it did was put a land into play and gain you some life, if a card that lets you Genesis Ultimatum on turn two isn't too powerful, then no. Nah. No, no. Not, not cool. Not cool. I refuse to play against it. I refuse to track stats off of it. Nope. Big sign, it says no. I even tweeted out that that card needs to be banned as soon as possible. Because I, I strongly believe that it's so it's going to be so detrimental to standard. Tybalt's Trickery. It says counter target spell. Um, then choose a number, random number between 1, 2 and 3. Mill top cards off your library and then put it into play. So for example, you play a zero cost... Um, you play something like um, a zero cost uh, artifact like Tormod's Crypt, you counter your own spell and you basically Genesis Ultimate um, Purdue Guinea and do something stupid. Yeah, but it's just no fun. It's just absolutely no fun. And someone will work out how to break it. And it's just, yeah, someone will will work out how to do it. Um, and it's just it's just no fun it's just it's just no fun and it's just not it's just not cool I, I see I hear what you're saying as well prof though yeah it is a low win rate but 
it's just you know and they've got so many they've got so many stabs at it uh so what is this i can't remember what this card does now um other humans you control get plus one whenever general could really do it and another human enter the battlefield under your control exile target for card from opponents graveyard sacrifice you to two humans okay um so play you play you what card tyvar kel cool play you Do I care about any of these cards dying? No attacks for a minute. Let's just um, find a way to deal with General Kudro. ECD. Okay. Don't actually care about the last effect, so that's kind of fine. Your hand is M oh now that's what I'll say is the London Mulligan is what makes the deck work. It should go back. I think London Mulligan's good. I just think um Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Well that fucking sucks, isn't it? So we're just gonna have to overwhelm them now. No attacks, end the turn. Okay, so we're not going to attack at the moment. We need to deal with this shit. We need to deal with this shithead over here. Amaria's Call. Okay. So, we're going to then put another counter on here. Play you. No attacks. End the turn. Wait for him to take out Tyvar. I played versus a green mass creature deck with Henge out. Uh, and he was flooding the board while drawing for each creature he was playing. Wow. You play versus Doomscar. How, how, how do I recover against Doomscar? Uh, I just tend to go very, very quick. One, two, three, four, five blockers. One, two, three. No attacks. I'm good for the moment. Wow. You really need a way out, Chief. If I pull the wrong thing. Yeah, fine. Wow, you're you're dead, aren't you? That was brave.
is mon 3, 8, 9, 10. On, lose some life. Two. That's brave. That's full brave. Full brave. Getting in. What have they got? They got an extinction event for even. No, ECD the Harold. Okay. Keep the pressure on. Gotta keep the pressure on. <laughs> Gotta go for it next turn. Skyclave. So what? Skyclave the what? Really? That seems like the wrong idea. I'll keep the pressure on. <laughs> Gotta keep the pressure on. Give everything death touch next turn. Wow. Brave. Are they going to spot? They're going to spot the ability on Elvish Warmaster. And a blocker. I'm going to hold the land just to look like I'm doing something. They got an answer. Doom Scar. Harold. Uh. I think we get a Tyvar to keep pumping out elves. Did I consider Skemfar? 
What their top? Oh yeah, their top deck was ridiculously lucky. Yeah. Draw a card. Wow. They go to one. They go to one. Mario's call. Cool. That is ridiculously lucky. You need to keep the pressure on. Got to keep the pressure on. Get the pressure on. Uh, oh, Harold, play you. Come on, I need another creature. I need another creature to keep this pressure on. Well, we'll track you. Yes. They've got an extinction event. You what? They've got an extinction event. They were looking at looking at the costs. Good thing is, is Harold has got um, Harold's got menace. Oh, like they're so ridiculously lucky. We just got to keep the pressure on. We have to keep the pressure on. Come on. Uh, yeah, three, six. So, they can create another dude. Uh, they can create another dude. Uh, they'll have three dudes at the end. They block with a 1-1. One, one. They'll be able to attack with their 4-4. Four, four. No attacks at the moment. No attacks at the moment. So they make another dude. Can easily block their angels. If that extinction event really... They are so lucky. These guys are so lucky, it's unreal. I think you might want heroic intervention to protect your non-exile board wipes. Again, I can I can as a general rule, I can recover. With Henge I would have won. I don't think so. I genuinely don't think so. Like that's so frustrating now though. I've lost. Good game. Say good game and you can have it. Well done. That was a good game. But the thing is, with Henge, it's just not... 
Henge is so overrated. I will put two copies of Henge in for you. Okay, so let's put two Henge in. We'll put two Henge in and we'll see what happens. But I just don't think it's going to... I don't. I just don't think it's going to help that much. I really don't. I know I've got life gain, but I, I yeah. I just. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I go first. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This will be stupid combo deck again. Guaranteed. Oh no, it might be snow. Mono snow red. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. Uh, play on the black side. Um... Attacks. Uh, that's because I get to play a lot of cards. Um, but sometimes you get like unlucky draws as well. Um, we'll just play another dude. Uh, we'll take that action. We'll put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. I'm more than happy to give this up. More than happy for the trade. What do we reckon? Do we reckon Winota? Winota with some snow thrown in? Possibly. All that glitters. Don't really care. Really? That seems dumb. I was going to say, if you attack, that's really stupid. Um, okay, we'll get some more dudes. Um... No attacks. Missing land, which is sucks. Like, 24 land deck and we're missing land. Like, we could have binded this prick by now. But, like, what are they going to do? Embercleave? With their Voltron dude? Oh, exactly. Like, how many land drops can we afford to miss? Like, this is annoying. Because all they do is they just Voltron the shit out of it now as a blocker. Look at this, though. Like... Um, frankly, we'll just, we'll just keep making an army. Take the action. We'll just keep matching this dude. Um... We'll just we need to start putting him under some pressure. Super weird shuffle stuff always, mate. It's always about the super weird shuffle stuff. You see what I mean though? Like I've got a freaking army and it's like, well like hexproof. Okay. Don't really care about hexproof. Okay. Again, really? Fine. Harold. Make some more dudes. Fine. Decline. Yeah. Fine. Decline. Boom. Yeah, decline. Decline. Uh. 
I'll get that. I'll put out the visionary next turn. Um, I mean, is he trying to get double strike with the Cargling Intimidator? Double strike Ember Cleave on the on their Vulture and Intimidator, maybe. The fact that they're not blocking with the other one just implies to me that they've got Henge. If they double, if they double attack, it's just like a, it's just a shitty henge deck. Right, a treasure. Breaking claws. What's breaking claws? Is that a new card? So what hexproof up there, dude? Oh yeah, I'm 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 just gonna attack next turn. Yeah, they're dead. Oh yeah, I know. They're dead. Uh, they've got no tricks. Vigilance, give it plus one. Yeah, it's fine. No blocks. Hey. Goodbye. Cool. Double strike. Okay, cool. Nice. There we go. No. Oh, the deck's quite good. I've seen it go off. So what's this? Is this gonna this will be Tibalt's trickery? Boros, Tibalt's trickery. Nope. Or well, they'll do it on the end of their turn. Put out the bigger dude. Shock the Wildwood Tracker. The new Frostbite. Frostbite Wildwood Tracker. Frostbite the Paragon. Stomp. Wow. People are still playing with Stomp, are they? Interesting. So we can Harold. We can Ramp next turn. But I... We'll probably get down the Ramp. Giant. Yeah. Henge. Here we go. Right. We've got a Henge. No attacks. We've got a henge out. Giants, yeah, maybe, but giants tends to be uh, simic. Roll warrior. Okay, so I think do we tie our kel and make dudes, or do we? I think we Harold and hope for a free tie Okay, that's fine. So we can still get that, which can block. So we've still got the paragon, which can block the trot, with which can block the giant. Um, but to be honest with you, I probably won't block the giant. What's this? Create a colorless snow artifact token named icy manolith. Tap add one color of any. I mean, I probably won't block anything because then when Harold goes off next turn, we're just going to have stuff that's going to be out of the range of all of their things. So. Plus one, plus one counters. Um, play black mana. Play henge. Uh, play this. Cool. And then we got another Harold to go. Uh, I'm not going to attack yet. I don't need to attack yet. The draw. So, four mana. 
to do a, a vapage refill. Why well, you said henge. Yeah, card draw's good. We can make the Wildborn Preserver massive in a minute. By playing Tyvar. Play Tyvar. Create an elf. But to be honest, because we've got Henge out, we probably just play Harold, to be honest. Arnie slays the troll. Target creature you can follow types at one further creature you don't control. Okay. Cool. Good job. Good job. So we can attack next turn and wipe their board. So we can attack next turn. Okay. We can wipe we can wipe the dude. What does this say? Put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature you control. So we can get rid of that. So we play you. Get some stuff. Get you. Play you. Play you. Find the action on that. Uh, next. Swing and swing. Yeah. Minus you. Minus you. Okay. Now I can flood the board without having fear of board wipe. Oh, okay, because I'm refilling my hand. Yeah, okay. I, it certainly seems to be... It, it certainly seems to be better than um, our other option. So we've got binding... We've got binding of the old gods to deal with this twat. Um, so what they... Three, five, six mana. So six mana, less one, five. So they can henge, which would be 12 damage. 13 damage. Questing bitch. Arnie. Yeah, what are you fighting? Um, play you, get some card draw to start off with. Uh, decline that action for a minute. We'll um, bind. We got two lots of gain life. We'll bind. You. Then we'll swing four, five, six, seven. That gets through four, blocks the other four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's leave them on one. Let's leave them on one. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. I forgot the one, one. They were unlucky with three mana. I concede Henge was very good in that game. Henge was very good in that game. We like either Hengey. Because everything's coming in with additional counters, which is good. We've got Henge, Visionary, Tracker, No Companions. Haven't seen Mono White for a while. And Mono White's like super strong at the moment. Okay. Food. Or adventures of some description. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you flood, flood, flood. So I'm genuine. I I'm generally a control mage as a general rule. Um, okay, interesting. Stomp. No fiery prophecy. Okay. I'm just gonna keep playing stuff out. There's no way I'm gonna. Um, or do I just wait? Do I miss a turn? And then play both of these when they're not going to get stomped. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play them both on one turn. See if we get away with it. Excellent. Good, good. Good, good, good. Cool. Play you. Play you. Cool. Play you. Okay, cool. So, they might henge. I'm not overly fussed about them getting henge. Wow. Henge coming. So, this hasn't got trample, so I'm not fussed about that. Henge. You would assume henge. No, just stompy stomp stomp. Uh, yep, yeah, binding's good. No, we don't want to do that, because that gets rid of our thing. We play this. Draw that. No attacks. Okay, so we can bind the brush for... Oh, really? Come on. Come on. Um, lock you. Um, so... We need blockers, but... We need to get rid of... At the same time need to get rid of you because this still might be small it's more creeps on the board it's more creeps on the board they've just gone super fast another brush fire elemental really wow Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, well, when Gruul gets the perfect draw, there's not a lot you can do. That's all I'm saying. Okay, um, 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 I go first. I played versus this landfall deck, uh, and he casted, cast some spells with creatures get double strike, but I can't find the spell. Okay, creatures you control get double strike. Not sure what that would be off the top of my head. Okay, black. So we'll play that. Pass the turn. Uh, find the cheaper spell so we can play more of. 
Uh, I'll offer this up as a trade. I'll offer it up as a trade. That's fine. More than happy to trade there. Cool. I'm ahead in this fight now. Okay. Um, I play Harold. Get ready. Put you back in. Uh, then attack with you. Hit you. Okay. Just need to keep ahead now. Just need to keep ahead. Elvish Warmaster. Okay. Wild Born Preserver. I don't know why they're playing with snow. Make this bigger. Just chill for a minute. That way we've got Henge next turn. So... Henge next turn works for us. I don't know why they're playing with snow though. I think they're probably just playing with snow because they can. I'm happy with that trade. Oh, it's got Menace. Uh, I'm happy with that trade. So the Wildwood Trackers block us three threes. Good. Pull the Death Dwellers. Make the Preserver bigger. I'll more than happily double block the Preserver. More than happy with that. Uh, play that. Play Harold. Nice. Uh, play you. Uh, I will take the action and pay one. Play you. Uh, decline that. Uh, you get you. Uh, this I'll attack with. This has to be double blocked. More than happy with both those trays as I have black back offs. Yep. So that says to me they've got another call the death dweller. I would assume anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can give everything death touch and plus two, plus two next turn anyway. I think that was another example, not going to lie, where Henge um, was good. Henge, was re Henge, Henge is a good addition. I, I, tip, I tip my hat to you, sir. Um, this is fine with Tudju Paragon. Play Temple first.
Uh, yeah, we'll have a binding because we've got we're not going to miss land drops at the moment. Um, so actually having a binding on hand is going to be helpful. Um, so what do we reckon? Mono White Angels? So Mono White is the most played deck apparently at the moment. Like the Mono White Life Gain shenanigans. Okay. Okay, the fact that we got the Wildborn Preserver here. Um, I think we get the Preserver. In fact, we, let's, get the, let's get the Visionary down. Um, and what we'll do is we'll offer up a trade here. Nope. Okay. Henge every game. Yeah, two cards. Okay, so what have they got? They're waiting to see what we're going to play. So... We'll wait on the binding. Let's um, swing again. See what happens. And then we can Wildborn Preserver end of their turn. Um, we'll end the turn here. And we'll Wildborn Preserver end of turn. We could have actually Skem Fard, actually. I've just realised that. That's my bad. That's, that's a misplay. Okay, so we get rid of this thing because this gets out of control super quick. So we get rid of that. Play you, get you down. Uh, decline to do that. We'll offer up the trade again. Right, now the fact that everything's getting plus one, plus one's next turn is lethal. Three. Okay, so. Get you. Play Henge. Next. Next. Uh, no attacks for the minute. End the turn. The fact that we can use the minus one, minus one counters next turn is good. The beginning of your end step, draw a card. If your life total is great and you're starting life total, otherwise you gain two life. Don't really care. You can attack me if you want, Chief. I genuinely will just not block. <laughs> I'm genuinely not going to block. Fine. Cool. Cool. It's lagging for you. Uh yeah, big time. I'm losing a I'm losing a few frames. My my frame rate's gone massively down. Let's go mad. Get you. Play you. Same here. Yeah, I'm losing a load of frames at the moment, Ben. I, I can't do a lot about it, unfortunately. You. There's not much I can play off of one, so I'll add a add it to you. Find that action. Cards. 
Um, I don't need to attack here. Um, I'll just give everything plus two, plus two at the end of next turn. If the Elvish Warmaster sticks around. So just be all out attack. Give everything plus two, plus two and death touch. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah, I, I, it happens. I'm, I've, it's gone back up a bit now. I'm at four thousand kilobytes, but it's, it's fluttering. It's fluttering a bit. Yeah, sometimes I think if you just get um, thingy, um, yeah, you're very dead. You're very dead, sir. You're very dead. Very, very dead. You're very, very dead. Very dead. Very dead. Goodbye. Oh yeah, no, they're they're very very dead. Upgrade. Nice. Yeah, I had a change around on the stream, Mr. Ben. You'll be able to be able to see. So I I changed the monitor around. So this one is now my upright monitor because my camera's here um, and chat's now here because because we we sort of sussed out if my chat was underneath my camera it's a lot easier for me to read chat and look at you guys so this is now my vertical monitor my two long monitors are over here i've actually high mounted my microphone now so it doesn't sit in shot and did all the necessary tweaks to make it sound really good still um yeah so we've uh, tweaked which is nice because i can see my stream i've got loads more peripheral to see what's going on looks like the stream sorted itself out now as well good yeah, it looks like it's sorted itself out a bit now, which is nice. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot nicer. It feels, and it feels like I've got loads more room as well, which is lovely. I tell you what is nice though, Ben, be able to play elves in standard, because it's it feels like I'm playing like an old school, getting one of the boom mics. Yeah, Ben, trust, full full trust. Just get the road mic one. There are loads of other options for cheaper ones. I've owned the cheaper ones and they are shit and they don't hold up. If you're going to use it for your Blue Yeti, um, don't, um, don't, yeah, just, just get the Rode mic one. Also, um, I'm, uh, I'm actually selling my Blue Yeti mic to get an upgrade. But I thought maybe, because I've got the Blue Yeti spring mount, if you're getting a boom arm. So what we can do is maybe agree how much that costs. And we'll tweak something. Because you can't get in hold of the Blue blue Yeti spring mounts for the mics are a nightmare. Um, so we'll have, we'll have a chat over the next couple of days. So I need to organise coming to see you anyway to bring you those magic cards over. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll, um, if you're getting a boom mic, get the road one and then we can come to some sort of arrangement as regards to the Blue Yeti anti-bounce. Oh, you've already got the anti-vibration thing for your mic, have you? Oh, or have you already got the boom arm? Oh shit, hang on, we've started. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Um, uh, we play this. For my mic, um, just because um, I'm always determined to keep on... Because... Uh, so what do you already have, Ben? Do you already... Are you saying you've already got the, the shock mount for your Yeti? Or you've already ordered the boom arm? Okay. 
Oh, really? We're on cycling, are we? Harold. Yeah, Harold ramps us. You might get another blue yeti. If you're thinking about getting another blue yeti, Ben, um, let's have a conversation about mine, because that does me a favour. And then, yeah. Yeah, but are you, order the road one, Ben. Trust, just full trust. Order the road one. It's the one I've got. I've had the other ones. Yeah. But if you want another Yeti. Yeah, so this is the proper official Yeti one that I've got. Yeah, so I've, I've got the official official Yeti one. I thought I was going to whiff then. Uh, we just need to keep the pressure. Ahoy, Mr. Rob. I'll give you I'll give you a buzz after. I'll give you a ring once I finish the stream, Ben, on Discord. Are you at your PC for a bit? If you're at your computer for a bit, I'll give you a Discord call. It's not going to be a super long stream tonight because we started later, so... Um, I'm better off playing two cards. Need to keep the pressure on. We'll be free tomorrow. No problems. I'll give you a... Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop you a message during the day and maybe we can have a chat during the day or something. We'll, we'll sort something out. But that's well worth knowing because I've currently got it on Facebook Marketplace. So if I know that you want the... The... Um, the like you say, the shock mount and the Yeti. It's also got the, um, the um, what do we call it, the shield for it as well. Um, then, uh, yeah. I'm really tempted just to, just to fold. Because they're just going to do their bullshit. Eight. How many cards? Ten. Douche nozzle. You attack? Nope. Got to keep the pressure on. Got to keep the pressure on. We get the card draw for this. Hopefully, we get another dude that we can play. 
Sure, surely I just get fucked by their stupid bloody kill effect now, don't I? Okay. This is such a stupid deck. have to double block the Harold, so they die. Fuck you, cycling. Boom. Badoom. Opponent goes first. We've got a one drop. No companions. I really want the alternate art for Harold, but they haven't released it yet. I'm slowly pimping this deck because I, I really like this deck a lot. I like it a lot. It's lush. Likey, likey. Hey. Um, so we Temple of Malady next turn. We Temple of Malady this turn. Just get it down. Harold next turn. Old Growth Troll. Saw that coming. Okay, fine. Uh, so we... Harold. Uh, find you to flood the board. No attacks. Need to start flooding the board now. Create a 1-1. One, one. Uh, I have no need to block you. I'll block you in a minute. Play you. Play you. Uh, play you. Swing with you. Put 3 1 1 counts on target creature. If you can control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw 2. And then create a gold. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Henge, yeah. Don't really care about Henge, actually. I think I'm. Pro oh, hello. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Right, can we do this? Okay. Well, that's a thing. Okay, so... Two, four... Five, six... Eight... We kind of want to turn off Kayla.
What? Does this have trample? I didn't realise it had trample. <laughs> and one thing I might do though is I might update the deck on Ether Hub quickly. We've got the uh, deck. For those who aren't following me on Ether Hub, um, internet's been so weird this evening. edit this so take out both canopy tacticians add a great add the great henge two of those um and then add uh skem uh skem far elder hall the right one and take out a forest and then save that what Bob is currently checking your deck cool that's fine cool let's get back on it we update the score yeah we did update the score <laughs> binding of the old gods I think getting the right number of bindings in this deck was quite important because you, there is things you definitely need to kill um, so in this scenario here one tip I would always say is I will always play black mana first because I think it tells the opponent less information by playing black I think black could be so many different things that I'm I'm more than happy to because by playing black I don't I don't give off information by playing green you definitely give off information. Okay, so there's so this is some sort of mill strategy. Okay, so this is low cost. This is the Myers grasp. Um. This is the Myers Grasp deck. Uh, we'll get another one because it makes it. They'll probably try and kill it. Um, so no attacks. Yeah, Myers Grasp. Wow, that seems dumb. Yeah, I'm more than happy to kill you. So we're expecting extinction event. Maybe that's why they were happy to trade it. But this isn't the sort of deck that wants to run extinction event because they want to get stuff out of their graveyard. So, okay. Okay. I'll get a Paragon. Like, when you do that, like, that deck is good if it comes together really quickly. Like, it's the, you know, um, reoccurring thing. But they, they didn't get their engine quick enough. If that if that deck gets its engine quick, then you're, then you're in trouble. Then you are in trouble because they've just got all the answers all the time. Oh, we got a pack. Don't forget as well, um, everyone, if you use Play Caldime in the store, you get three free packs of Caldime. So let's just play Caldime, all one word, in the store. So literally go up here. So go into the store, up here, and then play uh, Caldheim. And it will give you three free packs of Caldime. Um, if you're not a member of the Discord, if you go into the MTG chat in the Mythic Community Discord, into the top is every single code. Tons of them still work. Do go check it out. You can copy and paste them. Try them all in. I pretty much guarantee most of you will be able to get 
tons of different uh, full art stuff, tons of different free packs, do go check. Because there's just tons of free cards, free packs there to be had. So do go check him it out. Well worth it. Opponent goes first. Um, play the Skemfar. Not the best hand, but I'd like to hope we play a mana. So we've got no one drop, but however, two drop. Make an elf. Bit of ramp, hopefully. Feels like you never get a vault. Yeah, you've just got to sort of stick to opening lots of stuff of the same thing. It's kind of the kind of the thing. I reckon this is going to be... You watch. This is... If this is Tybalt, I'm folding. I refuse to play the deck. I want the card banned. Refuse to play it. Mr. Wacko Taco. Yeti, hello there. Invasion of Giants. Okay. Verbal punch bag written across my forehead. I'm so sorry to hear that you've had a crap day, Yeti. That sucks. I think what we'll probably do is we'll probably play two Elvish Warmaster here. But we might play Harold. It's a better use of mana if we get the mana. If not, this is a better use of mana. I feel like this is going to get Bone Crusher Gianted, surely, right? They're going to do it. My turn. Because surely this is a four of. Glimpse the Cosmos. Okay. Well, you're done now. But don't worry about it. Because as they stay, sticks and stones may break my bones. But whips and chains excite me or whatever it is. What does this do? The next giant spell you cast this turn costs two less. Okay, what are you going to get? Hexproof straight away. Like, guaranteed. <laughs> You'd be scared if they had whips and chains as well. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Can I have land now as well, though, please? That would be, you know, desirable. Wow, they're just glimpsing all over the fucking place, aren't they? <sighs> fucking hexproof. First turn. What the actual shit? We kind of need to ramp now, um, to be honest. More than anything else. Um, I feel like we need to keep them under pressure. Um, I'm going to go no attacks at the moment. We need to outgrow this. But guaranteed it's going like, to get flying next turn or something fucking annoying. You watch. Hexproof flying. Guaranteed. Vigilance, first strike. Okay, Tyvar Kel. Tyvar Kel. Create an elf, create shitloads of elves. Counted? I, they had a counter where I could pay one. Okay, so we now... We carry on playing stuff. No attacks. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, there is an add-on. Yeah, um, it's called Cardboard Live. Personally, I don't like it. I think it's... 
I think it's really distracting, and to be honest with you, I'd much rather the stream interacted and said, oh, what does that card do? And I'd more than happily hover over it. This is an annoying card. Whenever Tectonic Giant attacks or becomes the target of a spend opponent control, choose one. Deals three damage to each opponent. Exile the top two cards of your eyes. Choose one of them to ten. You may play it. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make a fatty with this. One. One, two, three. So let's take the action. Let's make a blocker. It's got Menace. We need to start doing something about their life total. Fucking take out the Hexproof one all day. Ah, First Strike. Well, that's annoying. Oh, I forgot it had First Strike. Oops. What is the blue card in his hand? Uh, Cyclone Summoner. It's basically Cyclonic Rift for Giants. I should be able to get back into it. Really? Two in a row. Two in a row. Wow. I go first. Okay, yeah, fine. This will be bullshit. Bullshit central. Out. This will be some bullshit. Guaranteed. Maze Mind Tome. Okay. Is this going to be the combo deck? I feel like this is the combo deck. I'm not going to play yet because I don't want them to have any clue as to what they're scrying or not scrying. Right, land please. Thank you. Um, keep the card advantage going. Uh, yet you. Um... So the best play next turn is going to be uh, Harold unites the elves. Blood Chief's thirst. So they've got flyers. If they're doing that first, they've got flyers. Because, like, why else? Um, we Harold here. Nice. They clearly didn't want us to have that, so we'll have that back. Not that we had another option, mind you. Is the War Master from Kaldheim? Okay. So, ramp. This is just going to be an Ugin kill spells deck, right? Surely. Henge. War Master. Uh, decline. Wing. Hold on. Oh, nice. Cheers. I'm, I'm not totally up with the cards yet. So what are we expecting here? A Wrath? We're expecting a Wrath, one, two, three, four, five. They're nowhere near an Ugin yet. And they're still searching. So the fact they're gaining life isn't great. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
they play a creature they're dumb because it's about to get killed depending on what it is blood chief's thirst wow sucks to be them uh, play harold Um, get back you. Fine. Hey you. Uh, very few one drops, so I'll take that action and put it on there now. Another binding of the old gods, that's potentially good for an Ugin. So potentially an extinction event coming, so odd, even, even, odd, even, so I'm still keeping loads of stuff, and they die. Rank up. Well, that's it. So much fun. I really, really love this deck. I love the sort of the modern feels it has, so I get to play a deck that feels like modern for me in standard, which is brilliant because I haven't really got that much enthusiasm about playing standard for a while really so this deck's a real sort of breath of breath of fresh air should I say um yeah apart from that if you do go on to play this deck make sure you let me know in the comments below how you get on and uh yeah as always if you like the video make sure you like it dislike it if you dislike it make sure you also go on to subscribe because it's free and it really does help me out the last thing you've got to do is go and check out one of these cool magic the gathering videos down here and apart from that I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.